So we are filming in the uh, in the flat color profile, and this thing is going to stay on the whole time for the rest of this video, just to give you an idea of the battery. So I want to show you what you can do with the Go 3 if you are just a daily vlogger or something like that. First off, look at this. We have this guy on the suction mount right there. This is really easy to pop off. It's just chilling right there. And then I'm just spinning this camera around and putting him in there. I'm filming at 1440 free frame mode and I'm getting ready to go for a run. So let's get into it. Hey, before we get too far into this video, I wanted to let you know that I have an entire private community, The Better Buy. You can go to thebetterbuyguy.com. Come check it out. It's the best place to get more information on all the stuff that I review and discuss, and it's a great place to join a community of people that are helping each other out in this whole journey of getting into tech, learning how to use tech, and making videos for fun. So, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, let's keep going. So, I'm filming in the flat color profile, and essentially, all I did is put the camera right here for this top-down shot. Because it's magnetic, it's really easy to just stick right on there. You can get that shot, pull it out. And the other thing was, I just put the camera right on the floor for the other one. And because you can bend this little screen back just like that, it makes it really easy to get those kinds of shots. So this little guy is the hat clip mount. I absolutely love this thing. It's really easy to use. This little sucker is just gonna go right here and then we'll be good to go. So I'm out here on a goal pace workout. We're doing a one mile warm up at a 7.30 to eight minute pace. Then I need to do a mile to a mile and a half, or sorry, a mile and a half to two miles at like a 5.30 pace. And uh, getting the camera's obviously gonna impact that a little bit, but just wanna show you what you can do, all right? Currently running a 7.20, so we're gonna slow it down. And um, talking is not making that any easier. Now I've personally found that this thing is amazing for this situation. It fits your hand perfectly, so, when you're running, it's just perfectly balanced. You don't even notice that it's there. Absolutely love that. That's a switch pod, by the way, in case you're wondering. So because I'm doing an actual running workout, you're not gonna see any of those like shots of me running by the camera and like having to go back and pick it up. Like that's not gonna happen. But you could do those really easily. So I kind of lied there, I didn't mean to, but I realized right after I said that, that like, I'm doing a pretty comfortable chill run. I didn't have to stop my watch at all or anything on this run to get that shot, so we're fine. Still doing like a 7.30 mile. Morning. It's always nice seeing people out here. Again, this thing, so simple. Quality, not that great. Don't love it, but um, especially if you're trying to do the free frame mode, however, if you just want to document the journey, tell a good story, I think this is a great camera to do that. All right, this workout is about to get real. I have to do that one mile, mile and a half to two miles actually, at a 5.30 mile pace, and you will not see me uh, holding this camera and talking during that portion. So, I'll be back in a few minutes. I guess if you guys won't even notice, let's see how we do. Stop recording. Couple things really quick, the voice activation is awesome. I've talked about that before, but it's really good. I got these cars, they're gonna have to wait for me. Sucks to be them. Um, man, this car's everywhere. Shoot, here we go. <laughs> um, and overall, exposure-wise, you can see, changing light and all that kind of stuff is good. Um, one thing that's important is that when I process this footage in the uh, Hens360 app, you gotta export it, you gotta reframe a little bit, not much. The free frame is nowhere near as difficult as the uh, 360 footage. So definitely like a plus there for turnaround speed and all that efficiency, I guess. But um, I did run a 539 mile, so that was solid. Or no, 529, 529 mile. And then we uh, did a half mile at a 544 pace. So once again, good. And you can kind of see how it's handling all that changing light. <laughs> Morning. Um, so, again, I think like, with a little bit of finessing, obviously, 
when you're doing something like this active a little bit more difficult to kind of like change settings and do stuff like that but with a few extra seconds you could fine-tune all of your stuff before you hit record so I want you to see how easy this is to do you got this little fence right here and um, if we just come over here I'm not gonna stop my watch we're just gonna oh. see nice little magnetic thing right there I'm gonna go ahead and point this towards me and then we'll get the shot And that's how easy that is to do. So it's just like a simple process, man. Look at this uh, battery life right now. We are currently on um, a little over three quarters on the main unit and we're full battery on the little guy because it just keeps charging in between stuff. So once again, like been on for 30 minutes now, been recording off and on and breaking out batteries. It's almost too easy, so I just gotta tell you, if you're someone that's trying to figure out if the Go 3 is a good one for you, like see what I've done with this really quickly, and consider what you could do with it pretty easily. You don't have to use free frame mode, it doesn't have to be all this crazy stuff that I'm doing for the running portion, like you could do all sorts of other stuff with it. And it's, it's just so versatile and simple. That's I think what I love about it, is how easy it is to just pick up and use. You have to think about it, it's not the highest quality, but goodness man, if you're just trying to tell a story, what a great way to do it. I'm trying to give you guys the information you need on the stuff that you want so you can make the better buy. I've done a bun bunch of videos on this, but I need to reach more people, and so this is how we're doing it. I'm gonna be doing more stuff on the uh, the Go 3. I love this little camera for all sorts of reasons. I think there's a lot of ways that we can push it further than it currently is, and I'm gonna see if I can do that in the next couple of weeks. So if you wanna stick around, learn more about this little product, see how far we can take it, then jump in on the journey. Make sure you like and subscribe so that we can take this thing as far as it can go. And remember, the Better Buy community is there for you to help everybody get better at the stuff that we're trying to do. I'll see you in the next one.